Even today the SP is a very special bike and while it lacks the instant character that you get with the 916, the Honda is still packed full of spirit. It's just refined, smooth and polite in a typical Japanese fashion rather than outwardly flamboyant like an Italian. Does it justify the high prices on the used market? People are paying even more for the 916, why shouldn't the Honda model be as exclusive as a Ducati? Like most V-twins, the Honda SP12 series need a bit more rider input than the average for when cornering hard. The ride is harsh on both motorcycles, with the massive twin star frame as the backbone of the motorcycle and firm suspension. The Honda SP12 really needs a racetrack to appreciate the abilities of the chassis, as it just seems too hard and unforgiving on many normal roads. A truly great motor, ruined by a glitchy fuel injection system, especially on the Honda SP1 which is sometimes unpredictable at low RPM. With 133 bhp at 10,000 revolutions per minute the Honda SP2 is 4 bhp up on the Honda SP1, but the later model feels easier to ride, thanks to bigger throttle bodies and a better 12-point injector system feeding it. The Honda SP12 feels like it was made in the HRC race shop, not an anonymous factory. Every detail fits together just right, the Honda SP12 has an aura of engineering.